Hello, unique viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will be teaching you this particular design today. If you find this video useful, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon in order to get notified whenever I upload any new video. And welcome to today's training. These are the materials needed for this design. First of all, you note that we have what we call head circumference, which is the measurement of your head. And the head, the head circumference part is the stretchy part of the material. And that stretchy part of the material is what we call length. So you cut out 22 inches length by 22.5 inches width. I'll repeat it again. 22 inches length by 22.5 inches width. Note that the stretchy part is your head circumference area. When you take the tape around your head, that is what we call head circumference. My own head circumference is 22 inches. So I didn't put any sewing allowance. So what I'm doing right here now is I'm marking out 5 inches. 5 inches for the band. 5 inches for the band. So I'll be cutting out this 5 inches for the band from this particular fabric. So the next step to take is to mark out 2.5 inches throughout. Mark 2.5 inches throughout. Please watch everything I'm doing very closely. Just follow my steps so you understand this design. So you mark out 2.5 inches on this fabric. Mark it out throughout. I'm done doing mine. You can see how I marked everything out. So the whole lines align to each other and this fabric is the 5 inches I cut out for the band. So you turn it out. This is the right side. Please, the right side is facing me. The right side is facing me. Alright, you fold it like this and take to your sewing machine and sew down. Then for this part that I marked out, you fold it. Fold just the normal way you will do your pleated all back. That you pleat so you fold you can use your pin to hold it so you don't make mistakes or you use your ruler to mark a straight line down but with these pins you understand what i'm saying so you mark it down just the way it is they take you to your sewing machine and sew down sew it down so you do same thing throughout you do same thing i'm done sewing you can see the band and you can see the material that I just finished sewing down. So this is the front part. Next thing to do is to attach the, the base to the band. Attach the base to the band. So you can use your pin to hold it down. Just the way I'm doing now. You can hold it down before going to your sewing machine to sew. So you sew this edge, you sew it down. Right, I'm done sewing. I can see the outcome, see the back, and this is the front. All right, next thing you'll be doing is you fold this material, fold it the way I just did. You can use your pin as a guide to hold it down. Then I want to form my curve at the back of it. All right, so I'll use my pin to hold the the fabric down so it won't scatter so i'll take up my scissors and form a curve at this end then take it to your sewing machine and sew down please mark one inch here mark one inch so why sewing? Just stop at that point. Alright, I'm done with sewing. So remove your pins after doing this and turn out your cap base. So the next little piece will be cutting out measure 6 inches length by 2 inches width. The stretchy part is the length part. 6 inches length by 2 inches width. 
So you fold. The wrong part will be facing you. So you sew the wrong part. After sewing the wrong part, you use your safety pin to turn it out. So what you will do next is to insert this little piece inside. Please make the wrong side to face you. That swim part will face you, then you sew. Look at what I'm doing. See the way I placed it. Can you see it? You sew like this. Alright, I'm done sewing. So you turn out the loop. You turn it out and adjust it. You adjust it very well. So that that soon part will be at the center. So this is the cap base. Hope it's beautiful. Alright, I've placed on my dummy head and I want to show you what you can design the cap base with. You can use your stones or other trimmings to design or you can attach this this applique you can use your candle gum or your USU gum to attach this applique on it so you can use any trimmings any applique at your wish just for beautification make sure you rub your candle gum or USU gum and place on the cap base yes I will be swapping now let me show you a cap base that I've already designed this you should you gun for people that don't know it you can use it to attach the design on the cap base so I'll be swapping the cap base you can check this cap out this already made one the one I made already so I'll be using it to complete this training if you have reached this level and you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly hit the subscription button also, watch the next video to see how I designed this cap base. Thank you.